Witch with No Name is the final book in the Hollow series. It is done, finished, all over. <laughs> It was a very hard book to write uh, because I was saying goodbye to all the characters who I've spent like 10 years with, uh, but it was extremely freeing, I guess would be the word, because while I was working on The Hollows for 10 years, I still had ideas building, and they built up and built up, and I couldn't do anything with them. If they didn't fit into the mythology of The Hollows, I couldn't use them, and being able to act on them and see them develop, yes, it is a very good feeling. My new book is called The Drafter. Um, it is Perry Reed's story. She is a young woman, works for the government. She's a special ops agent. And for the past, oh, three years, her partner has been a man named Jack. And she and Jack, their special abilities dovetail so well that they have become Opti's top agents. And Perry is in heaven. Uh, it's it, she gets the best job, she has all the fun toys, a lot of prestige, and it's what she loves to do until she finds her name at the top of a corrupt uh, agent list and realizes that Jack, the man she loves, the man she trusts with her life, is the one who put it there. And she is not happy. Trust is a reoccurring theme. Um, I try to get away from it, but somehow it always creeps in there. The drafter, uh, the characters are older now, so um, their concerns are different, and that's been refreshing to write. Um, but the, the themes of, um, have changed from you know the, the young adult, uh, when I say young adult, I mean like 20s and 30s, or you know, just getting started in life. and, and kind of they're worried about how they're going to make rent and are they going to get a career rather than a job and and with Perry and Jack and Silas it's more like now I've got this career and there's somebody younger coming up behind me how am I going to deal with this I have tried to figure out where my inspiration comes from for a long time and some it varies sometimes it can be a song on the radio sometimes it can be just the actions of the characters themselves in a long-running series, it tends to, the ideas tend to come from what you've left, you know, where you've left off, and you build from that. But with a new series, it's usually uh, things that I see in the world that I'm unhappy with, um, and I, I want to write a world where that's not an issue or the issue is being discussed and resolved and, and realized and out in the open. Or I might just shove it all under the carpet and say, "This is we got rid of this issue, and now this is what the world looks like. So inspiration, it comes from all over the place. My, one of my favorite books when I was a kid, believe it or not, was Have Space Suit, Will Travel by Heinlein. Um, and you wouldn't think it by looking at me, but that is one of my favorites. I wanted to get on that spaceship and go. I really did. Actually, I read a lot of young adults. And uh, the book that I have most recently read and enjoyed and I, I push when I can is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. And I know he's got another one out called uh, Golden Sun and I'm, it's, that's my carrot for finishing my next book. It, it's sitting there waiting for me. I can't wait to get to it.